Welcome back. Well, after speaking with uh, both Tobias and Abnaxis, it seems that the logical next step would be to visit the Sentinel Enclave. Enclave, whatever. And uh, find this Minster Mierum, who might be able to tell us about the scriptures. Well, the Enclave is on the edge of town. Poor April. There's no subway here, so she has to walk everywhere. Stone wall. Some kind of sandstone, very malleable, but also very vulnerable to the elements. These cliffs probably have huge, naturally formed caves and tunnels. You'd think a statement like that would pay off at some point, where you'd actually go into these caves or something, but no, it won't happen. It's a stone dragon gazing down into the center of the dome like it's guarding the entrance. It's a magnificent piece of work. It is quite impressive. The dragon's mouth is pointing straight down at the middle of the floor. It's a circular hollow about 20 centimeters across and about 5 centimeters deep. It's a small recess about the size of my fist with a thin duct extending from the recess to the circular hollow in the middle of the floor. There are three others just like it, arranged with equal distance to each other in a circle and all connected via a duct to the center of the floor. Those things are not going to be important for a while though. First time I played this game, I utterly and completely missed the fact that there was a staircase here, so I couldn't find the un entrance to the enclave, which uh, was a bit silly. Wasted a lot of time with that. It's emerald green, teeming with life and carrying the pleasant salty scent of distant shores. I think you'll find that it's actually the scent of salt water, not distant shores. Oh, it seems that this is the library that uh, Tobias was talking about. And there's a priest here who might just be Minster Mirum. Some haunting music. It's one of the Sentinel Minster. Well, let's talk to him. Oh, goodness me, I didn't hear you come in. Uh, by the way, you haven't seen volume six of the complete annotated history of the Northlands, have you? I, I could have sworn it was here yesterday. Sorry, no. I guess someone else must have taken it. <clears throat> I try to tell them to write down what they borrow on the list, but they never listen. Only last week I spent three hours searching the entire enclave for the second scripture of the ballads, the scripture of song, before I realized that Vestrum Tobias was studying it back in the city. Now, such incidents could be avoided if only, and uh, this applies to you too, young lady, people would sign out the books they borrow when they borrow them and sign them back in when they're done. Such a simple procedure. It shouldn't take more than a few seconds to jot down your name and the name of the book you borrow. It makes my job so much easier. Uh, now, which book did you want me to find for you? I've only just met him and he starts ranting. Anyway, let's see if he's the guy we're looking for. Are you Minstrom Yaren? Yes, of course. Oh, what a silly question. How would I know? I don't know you. I am Minstrom Yerin, keeper of the great library of Mercuria. In fact, this is the greatest library of all the Northlands. Perhaps of the entire world. Although they say the Dark People have a library as big, if not bigger, than this one. Uh, but of course, we're not allowed anywhere near there. 
Have you been there? I don't think... What a silly question. Of course you haven't. You're not of the dark people, are you? You don't look like any dark people I've ever seen, so I can't see how you could possibly... Now, where did Volume 6 disappear to? He seems rather disorganized. Anyway, if this is supposed to be the biggest library in Markuria, then I hope that there's more to it than just this single room. Because otherwise, uh, that would pretty much mean that uh, all the other libraries are really small. Tobias said I should talk with you. Tobias? Uh, Vestrum Tobias? I haven't seen him for... Well, he was in last week, but before that it must have been uh, days at least. How is he? Is still eating enough for two mules? I must tell you of this funny story I heard the other day. Of how Vestrum Tobias eats enough for a table full of minstrum. Uh, or was it one Elguan? Although the Elguan don't as a rule eat very much at all. Did you know that the Elguan can smell water more than half a day's journey away? Amazing, amazing creatures, perfectly suited for life in the desert. The balance provides, uh, that's for certain. The balance provides. This guy goes off on more tangents than I have hairs on my head. Vestrum Tobias recommended that I look at some books. Uh, books is what we do best here at the Enclave, that is for certain. Which book would you like to see? Well, um, we need information about uh, a lot of things, and we don't really know the titles or anything uh, specific, except for the Silver Spear of Gorimon that uh, Nax has told us about. I'm looking for some information, but I'm not sure which book to ask for. No matter. I know a great deal about most of the books in here. What topic intrigues you? I need to find out which four magical people of Arcadia were given a piece of the stone disc that serves as the key to the Guardian's realm. The stone disc of the balance, yes? Yes, yes. There, there could possibly be something on that in... Uh, um, uh, let me check. Just one moment. Okay. Well, this is a really annoying bit in the game because he walks really slowly. It takes some time finding the book, and then he has to bring it back. And we're gonna have to do that a couple of times. I did find something of interest. I'll leave it here for you to read. Okay, well, let's take a look at it. Well, we'll read this in the next video.